Merry Christmas! For Oli Hivainachten, Feliz Navidad, and Midi Kriimete. It is Christmas Day here on the Single Malt Review, the culmination of Advent season and the culmination of our stunning single malt yes, whiskey. Yes, we have um, we've reached calendar. struggling, mm. struggling. We reach the pinnacle. Yes, um, battered and bruised on our way, but we have made it. We have mm. made it to the final one. So the individual tastes are over. Yes. We're going to sort of um, put our heads together for this one, and we're going to make uh, individual guesses. So the mm. the last points could go either way, I suppose. And then we will know. We will find know our final scores. How well did we do? How well did we not? Um, still everything to uh, everything to achieve mm. here at the Single Malt Review. So, uh, we should, before we dive in, say thank you to Secret Spirits mm. one final time for letting us come along on the adventure this year. Yes. Uh, kindly providing the calendar. Without, mm. um, without their help, we would have never been able to engineer such a feat and bring all of this, um, what we hope has been extremely dynamic and utterly essential tasting content to you people at home. So, I hope you've enjoyed the journey as much as we have. And now it is time for the final one. Mm. Now, doing a um, one of these blind um, with no blindfolds involved, that you need to get really scientific. For which I have produced a sock, um, and you'll just have to bear yes. with me here because I'm going to make it work. Going to hide the label from ourselves so we can go into this. Uh, well, simply about knowing what we're tasting. Yes, I'm going we're to... expecting something amazing based on you know, history and the calendar today. So this this bottle is a bit different mm. to the others. It's a different shape. I don't know if that means there's more in it or whether it's just 100% um, different. I believe it's a larger offering. Alright, so here it comes, here it comes. It's going to go... Look out. Mm. It's going to go into the sock. I should have found a Christmas sock for this. Oh, oh no, no, I thought I'd seen it, but no, it's the, it's a, um, it's this, it's this again on the other side of the bottle, so it must be face down. And into the sock it goes. Um, I realise I have done this the wrong way because now the bottle end is facing down into the sock. That's However, should have room to manoeuvre in there. Um, I am now modifying the angle. Yeah. God, it's like the space program <laughs> happening here. The uh, worst case scenario is we'll have to remedy this for the power of a jump cut. But let's no, see. No, 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 no. We're assuming the docking position. It's coming about. It's coming about. It's coming about. It's alive. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Oh God, it's a wax seal. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I thankfully have not cut my fingernails today, so we'll make short work of this. Have mechanical assistance if you need it. Here we are. Oh. No, out of here. Ah, out of here. Screw cap. That's so, cool. alright. Right. Um, I can't actually tell if this is bigger or not. It might be a wee bit bigger. I'm not yeah. sure. I'll just check at the end. So, um, that was a bit of a loose screw cap there, but huh. nothing leaked, so no. I don't right. And away we go. Ooh. Ooh. It's a dark colour. Yeah. But if my um, if my sort of meta picks of this is going to be a thirty year old whiskey, or even even pour here, or you could use a little bit more than you sure. Um, then this is going to be thirty years plus if their yeah. prior efforts had been anything to go by. All right, do, 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 do. and plonk into the tank out it goes one final time. So uh, we have no a timer for this one. Time we can bugger off. <laughs> Uh, the whiskey can whiskey can do it on our time this time. So let's do this really one hundred percent properly. That is a rich, yeah. dark, ambery bourbon. Starting with the colour, a um, medium old bourbon. If this is a bourbon, I it mean, is one of the. It looks to me like it's actually the colour of bourbon rather than yeah. a bourbon cask matured whiskey. Oh, so. hang on, hang yeah. on. I just had a, I've had a, oh? I've had a devious thought. You know how we have been going on three point scale? Yeah. Why don't? We enlarge it this time. Mm. Let's guess a few more things. Okay. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. I've thought of a way to make a really mm. onerously long video. I think you're <laughs> very pleased. We're going to go, and I'm going to write this down, mm. otherwise I'll forget. Um, just to get the last, the last few amber drops of goodness out of this one. We are going to go. Um, the standard three. So, uh, nature of the spirit, region of the spirit, Distillery itself or mm. blend. They wouldn't give us a blend for the last one. What a <laughs> what a cruel trick that would be. Um, but we're also going to go wood. Oh, we're going okay. to go strength. 
and we're going to go age. age. Mm. And that's, I think, about as much as you can yeah. milk out of that one. So this is um, conceivably, conceivably double points yeah. to be had. We yeah. have been guessing the sort of unbidden thus far. So We have. We've been slipping yeah. this one in, burning valuable time. So <laughs> may as well make it work mm. for us. So, uh, like I say, we'll, we'll take this one from the top. This is a dark old whiskey. You would call that one. We'll get it nice and close to the camera. That's a real dark amber yeah. going on there. That's well, well past copper. That's well mm -hmm. past gold. That is, if that's not sherry, that's a really mm. mutant and fresh <laughs> bourbon cask. I don't think I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen a bourbon cask there. So I'm going, um, in fact, I should write this down as well, otherwise yeah. we completely lose uh, track. Keep chart of what we're actually So I'm going to write T, I'm going to write D. Um, T has gone wood, I'm thinking sherry. Mmm. That, along the nose though, that's, I think there's some stealth whiskey happening here. It's, it's a very low-key nose. It's not super strong. I think any alcohol that's here has diminished over the yeah. years well, or even decades. If, the, if, my, if my meta pick of 30 plus mm. is going to be anything to go by, there's no way this could have held on to yeah. too much alcohol. Um, I mean, I have seen 30-year-olds in the high sort of... You know, the higher, the higher, I was about to say 50s, but no. High like 40s, low 50s. I've is, seen them maintaining around the 50 to yeah. 55 mark. What's also maintaining here is the oily cling. This is yeah, the, very um, viscous. That's, it's very difficult to see on our crummy camera this mm. far from the screen, but um, it has a huge sticky leg situation mm. going on here, which is not something we've really been observing thus far. Um, in the interest of time more than anything else, and the fact that we're in blindfold, I suppose, is um, relevant <laughs> relevant to that as well. <laughs> um, but this one, yeah, really, really holding the glass, which yeah. you would expect old uh, whiskey to do, especially if it's come down quite a wee bit mm. in strength. I've got to go in for a taste. This is just too beguiling. Uh -huh. um, let me know once you've made a pick on wood, if, you, mm. if, if I've missed it. Oh, okay, Ooh, there, there is a... Mm. There is a, a surprising amount of heat, then waves of honey and florals. Mm. That is full of boiled sweets and um, rich bush honey. That is full of sweets, isn't it? Mm. Wow, that is... Okay, yeah, never mind low strength. That's... Mm quite not fiery but it's got plenty going I'm on. I'm thinking probably high 40s. I'm going to guess oh 49 percent. I'm going to strength. Okay so I'm going to scribble that down. There. Yep I think I'm going a bit higher actually. This right. one's got a this one's got a realness on the tongue which is mm. making me think oh, I'm going to go 52. Oh go 52. Right. Um, not exactly like not not a, not mm. a big um, departure mm. like not doing the dreaded under over but um, not too far mm. away so yeah fifty two there's a ah, right on the finish just hiding at the end of that finish is a bit of a uh, just straight up oak flavor like fresh hewn wood the the, the smell of like freshly hewn oak mm. I'm gonna have to do the water mm. I need a little water as well I'm veering towards sherry cask. So I think, oh, I might as well log that in. Yeah, yeah right, sherry, sherry, sherry yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll certainly stand, um, you know, we'll go, go, um, it will be in line with the rest yeah. of the picks for this um, box. They've almost all been sherry. Oh, yep, especially after adding water. Yeah, that's, I haven't had a smell yet. Oh, yeah, yeah that's gone, gone all the way. That's I'm gone, the bongers coming out that one. I'm going to pick for region. I'm, oh, oh don't there's know. Some, there's I'm, funk coming I off this now, yeah. I want to go into Speyside, but... No, a uh, heavy um, sherry maturation is going to produce this kind of aroma when you add water anyway. As we found out throughout this calendar, all the times I've been wrong on that exact front. Oh, that has... Mmm. That has not gone into the tinned fruit direction. That's retained fresh fruitiness and crisp... Um, yeah, apples, uh, a lot of floral, and still a lot of... Honey sweetness. There's an oaky funk on this, which mm. is making me think. It's making me go a wee bit spring bank. I don't know if oh. I'm going full spring bank, but mm. there's. Uh, it doesn't quite have the. Okay, well, and I'm going to get meta again. Mm. It's, oh, it's, it's <laughs> bad, bad. It's a bad habit. Mm. But um, knowing what this um, box costs, mm. there is no way that this is 30 year old um, spring bank because oh. that would cost you about the amount of the entire thing. <laughs> Um, it's just not realistic. There are um, 
and I don't know well, if I can leverage this or not. There are only a few whiskies out there that you can still affordably buy in advanced years. Some of them are just right out. Like um, with, let's say one exception, almost all of Ireland is just bogus. Forget it. Um, you know, you want old, uh, big, go to the moon. Um, I have had over 30 year old Isla whiskey before, but that was a yeah. Buna Harbour. Um, there is the Buna Harbour's the exception. Buna Harbour's the one that, I don't know, it sneaks out there. And Even it if gets, it was still a Cadenhead bottling and gets it was amongst it. provided there's a sample not and I, actually bought yeah, my I money. I don't know why, yeah. because like, Kalila gets around heaps as well, mm. but only in very, very, well, typically very, very young mm. expressions. And once it gets super old, it gets super expensive, just like the Freud and everything else. Buna Herben maintains yeah. sometimes, but I, I'm not really going Buna Herben. No, uh, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking, has there been any Campbellton whiskey in this entire calendar? Mm. No. Hmm. Um, so I, I mistakenly, um, mm. only because I got the distillery name wrong, um, may have misled people that there was, but I've, um, mm. I did identify that in the video. Um, I uh, mis, mis, uh, misnamed... Scapa is Scotia. Uh, um, otherwise, that's as close as we've gotten to anything in Camden. Yeah, I, I kind of went in a... I, I briefly went in a Springbank style, but if it was Springbank, it would have to be Hazelburn because this is nowhere near peaty enough to be Springbank and certainly not Long Row, um, which is their moderately and heavily peated mm. variants. I still don't think you can reasonably put... It. Without the thing being like a bloody... Thousands of dollars. I don't think you could put 30 year old Springbank anything in here, even if it was Hazelburn. But that's just my cynical mind at work, well, I guess. For me, um, this tastes too close to the younger Hazelburn we've tried in the past. I think if you took that Hazelburn and aged it to this extent, it would not taste like this anymore. So I think if that makes sense, the fact that this is so similar in some respects to a younger Hazelburn means it's less likely to be that because of the, I think, what I think is the extreme age on it. So I think this yeah. is at least. I believe 31 years. I'm going to lock it in as my guess on the edge. Right. So, got a strength, got an age, got a cast type. Oh, right, so I need, to, I need to make some picks mm. here. I'm falling behind. Um, yeah, age, this is... It tastes, if anything, a little bit younger than mm. I was expecting, but... Um, if they have put in a whiskey younger than 30, they have broken with tradition. Hmm. So I am going to do the dreaded under over and I'm going to go ah, 30. Right. Um, which is a despicable, despicable <laughs> thing. Almost put 30%. But no, 30 year old. Um, mm, so we're, we're looking very similar, very similar so far, mm. which is, I guess, good good in a way. That just leaves, I think, does that just leave? Uh, that's the, region, uh, strength, and age. Yeah. Uh, and, oh uh, wait, no, we're putting them in the wrong thing. Oh, we've we already done strength match. Yes. It's alright. No, we need the region and the distiller. Okay. I think, ah, oh, there's, I, mm, oh, it's too close. There's so many things it could be. But I'm going to lock in Ben Rea. Ben Rea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I knew you couldn't stick with it. I knew you couldn't stick with the Springbank. It would be too. Yeah. It would be too ridiculous for such an exclusive whiskey to show. I'm a small percent confident on that. I am expecting to be wrong. I have now. I have now put in too much water, but mm. that's never not a problem. It's really teasing things apart. There is. Mm. There is more than a hint of maritime in here, which mm. is making me wonder just a little bit whether it's. Pre closure Glen Glasser. Wow. Which has that little bit of maritime kind of a mm. smack to it. And the more I think about it, the more I kind of go. Yeah, I can see what that you're getting now. They're yeah. not going like completely, completely, un but... completely unpeated. Um, actually, yeah, I should say my, my working. Completely unpeated, hinted maritime, shows up in old versions because it almost has mm. to, because you're either going to get. Four-year-old, which is I think four or five-year-old, is the, the, what they're up to when they um, the reopened uh, when when Ben Reg Distillery and Company reopened the distillery. I think they'll be about up to five, six-year-old now. Um, anything prior to that is just increasingly ancient, which is. I still think that's probably a bit of a rich pick for this. I think because that, that that whiskey goes for a hell of a lot of money. Um, Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go there though. I'm gonna go Glen Glasser. Okay. Um, uh, we, uh, we've already mucked up our <laughs> We'll yeah. remember what Glen Glasser is. Oh, um, the next two. Yeah. 
I'm going to Google it yourself, but I'm going to give myself a runner-up, mm. runner-up, because I can't be 100% sure. I no, no. I was there's a little bit. There's like 72 out of the however many million taste buds want to say Bonnehaven, Unpeated Bonnehaven, but it's I think that is being super coloured by the fact mm. that that's the one that kind of gets out and about as old whiskey the and can still be afforded. But only super old Bonnehaven I had was 100% bourbon cask, mm. which was a universal difference. To no, what we I think here, we. So. I think it's Glen Glasser. Oh, here. okay. Yeah. Which would be mean we're both guests space side. Uh, no. Glen Glasser is Highland. Okay, I believe. Yeah. Yes, it must be. It must be. We will we'll, we'll double check that. All right, let's do it. Unsock, unsock the dragon and the internet out of our collective misery, or. Anticipation. Goodness me. Oh, the suspense. As I rifle around in Tim's sock. The abject suspense. Oh, what, is oh, well. what is it? What is it? What is it? This is a Weems malt luxury damson jam. It is Damson Jam. Oh! <laughs> I died! What an idiot! What an idiot! I should have let my cynical mind go all the way. <laughs> And it is exactly 30 years old. Who would pick Glen Glasser? <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> yes. All right. What else, how, how else did we do? Region Isla, we bombed yep. on that one. Yes. That's a, that's a no point. What was the strength? 46. Because this is a Weems bottling, so very okay. to be a standard so bottling. You've got the strength. Um, yeah. I've got the age by exactly one because mm. I under overed you like a scoundrel. Uh, yeah. uh, we both, this is surely sherry, right? It's a, yep, punch in Punch in, so that's sherry, yeah, yep. yeah. yeah. Or very cherry. weird one. Well. Um, and we both bombed on the region. Mm. So that is, um, you've got a two. Hurry. I have got a, oh, I suppose, no, no, we both guessed malt. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> mention that, but we obviously it both guessed malt. Almost goes about saying, so odd to get a blend. You've got, you've got three, mm. and I've got a two for this nice. one. Wow. Well, Median, I've only got the percentage one because I was closer. I was not at all correct. No, well, we're still, going to, we're still going to, yeah. we're going to assign them thus. I think I was probably thrown, I was assuming something cask strength, um, for something of this age, but no, it's um, it is of course Weems, so it's is the, was the bottle bigger after all that, or is it no, just it's a fifty ml. Oh, okay, just more more glass, convenient flask shaped bottle with the excellent. Yeah, it's um, got the nice yeah. um, insignia on the back there. Damn! Well, I I should have gone with the. It wasn't even my gut; it was my cynical <laughs> brain, and I should have just trusted that cynicism is increasingly the answer. <laughs> Um, I guessed uh, Bunnahabhain, I think, for something earlier during the calendar yeah. when it uh, patently wasn't. So um, um, Punchin as well. Hmm. Punchin is extremely rare, and if yeah. I'm correct, it is even bigger than a butt. It's enormous. Oh, right. Huge. Yeah. Um, hmm. Assuming that's correct. Uh, <laughs> do your own research yes. on that one. Oh, yeah, Luxury Damson Jam. Damson is a plum, mm. correct? It is yep. A, yep, it's a okay. plum. Yeah. So I think I see hmm. where that... I think I see where they're going here. Yeah. yeah, all that sugary sweetness, but also the rich, slightly tangy fruit. Yeah, and true to their word, 30 years old. Yes. I knew it was going to be 30 or over. <laughs> um, I could take that one all the way to the bank. Um, mm. Yeah, that is, that is. it's not my favourite whiskey out of the box, but it is a super, super good example of yeah. a whiskey that presents a, and the more I think about it, the more I kick myself, presents a... Quite a distinct distillery character, even mm. in its older whiskies. And I think your very first note was boiled sweets yeah. that you got out of it, and that is 100% the note for old Bunnahabhain, mm. assuming it's not been heavily peated. I have never tried anything particularly old mm. and heavily peated from Bunnahabhain. I've had so little of it. I've had very old, like over 30 year old bourbon cast Bunnahabhain. Yeah. I've had very young, like under 10 year old, uh, heavily peated Bunnahabhain. I've never had very old sherry Bunnahabhain or very old peated Bunnahabhain. Mm. I don't think very old peated Bunnahabhain even exists. Right. I've never seen that see the light of day. Hmm. Um, that always seems to get shipped out pretty pretty jolly uh, young. Yeah. Um, but it's it's such a slim part of their mm. um, distillation that uh, it's, it stands to reason. That is, I think, almost... Not, not disappointingly, but it's everything I expected. <laughs> yes, it is 30 years old. Yes, it's one of the usual suspects for um, aged malt that kind of gets out and about without costing the earth. Um, I'm just so disappointed in myself that I didn't stick to my guns on that mm. one. Clean glass. Uh, <laughs> what a, what a memeable pick that was. That was disgusting. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Never mind. There's always next year. So um, what does that do for our final oh, scores? Oh, final scores, final scores. Yeah. Um, you've, got a, you've got a three, three, which brings you from... Oh, bugger, where's it go? 
Here we are, here we are, here we are. Yes. Um, so that brings you 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, and I get 2, which brings me to 21. 21, so 21 yes. 17. Not a hell of a lot in there, really, mm. considering. We should um, add our points together and do a maximum total, yeah. um, which just doing the very, very rough mental arithmetic, um, I think we are just slightly above 50% mm. of the total possible score, which means <laughs> we are right more than 50% of the time, <laughs> which is, I think, it, all we can all we can really hope for here at the Single Malt Review. Um, and that doesn't mean we're mostly right, that just means we're well, right we're more than we're wrong. possible three points per dram for the first 24, mm. which is a uh, total of 72 if we were to get everything right for them. Plus, was it five for this one? Uh, five points? Five or, five yeah. or six for this one. So, yeah. like, that takes it up to about 79-ish. So, yeah, okay, we haven't done superbly overall, but we've got... Um, well, we've only drew a blank, a complete zero about twice. Yes, we've so. only, we've got a zero piece. Yeah. Um, I think mine was more shameful than Dave's <laughs> because Dave's was genuinely hard. I just got bamboozled by, um, a gentle... Oh, no, mine, gentle was a, today, so. mine was a single grain whiskey single and I grain. started making guesses yeah. like, is it single malt whiskey from a Calvados cask? I mean, what? Well, it was... It should have been easy, hmm. but the animal that it presented, it was not. It was yeah. absolutely not. Um, similarly, uh, yeah, being able to get single malt rather than a blend should hmm. be easy, but no, evidently. Um, uh, a testament to uh, the Belvenis' gentle spirit character, mm. I guess you'd say, that they can um, they can fake me out and make <laughs> me think it's a balanced, balanced, lovely old blend, mm. which I thought it was. I've just noticed that I dinged the camera and my um, <laughs> my um, acrobatics off the chair there, but mm. never mind. We'll all cope, I'm sure. Well, that has been the 25 days of Christmas, which mm. leaves us about a. Um, about a week off, I guess, yes. before we have to get back to it in the new year. Um, who knows what madness will come then, but mm. this has been an absolutely tremendous experience. Mm. Um, and we should say very, very finally thank you to Secret Spirits mm. uh, for bringing us along. Yes. You will find, in this one, as in all of them, there uh, a link to their back catalogue mm. there. And if you're coming to this later in the year, um, they might have even have the 2020 calendar up there, Ooh, so yeah. you might be able to get in, get in early on that one. Mm. Um, whiskey is just as good whether you're drinking it at Christmas or not, so yes, hey, indeed. why not catch up? Yes, indeed. So, um, who knows what mm. may come in the new year, but I hope it is a very good new year for everybody involved. It certainly will be for us. Um, this is some of the most tremendous, uh, tremendous feedback and sort of viewership that we've seen yeah. practically ever. So, thank you. We have some... Um, if I can say so, excellent drams on the shelves waiting to be reviewed yes, in the new do. year. Yes, we do. We've got some beauties lined up. We've got some we even filmed previously, which have yet to see mm. the light of the internet day. So thank you for sticking with us through these 25 yeah, it's stunning been a, it's been a hell of a ride. Drams. It has. Christmas or one of the many alternatives mm. offered yeah. as part of the menu. Um, I'm sure everyone's doing a um, doing doing perfectly well in their own way. Uh, we will be back very shortly. In fact, we'll probably never even go away because um, <laughs> I will um, now get into our own back catalogue and mm. um, deal with all the stuff that's been piling up. We'll be producing these day yes. by day. Um, so we are in fact mere days away from our fifth. Year. Will yeah, this show is turning five. Fifth year, fifth year, four thousandth subscriber coming up. Blimey. Fairly, fairly sure. I think um, the the rate things are going, um, we'll be very, very close before the before the year is out. The uptick we're seeing. So thanks an awful lot to the community for sticking along with us. Uh, we are going absolutely nowhere. Uh, we are going to keep going as we're going. I might even buy a better camera and microphone, um, one that Mingus cannot knock over. That would be a real upgrade for us over here. Otherwise, nothing's going to change. Um, I'm just noticing, as I often do, that the bloody sun has come out and is now completely nuking Dave's end of the uh, set. So I guess that's nature's way of telling us that um, we should probably go and be with our loved ones and all the other things you're supposed to do on Christmas Day. So we'll leave you with that. Um, this last... Flawed, imperfect pick from two flawed, imperfect men mm. here at the Single Malt Review. Thank you so much for sticking along with us all this time. We will be right back. A heartfelt slanger to you all. Merry Christmas. Stick with us.